hello year two this is Thursday's maths lesson and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking at flow number six which is number facts and we're going to be recalling some of the number bonds that we looked at at the start of the unit and the pattern between them so we're going to focus on addition today so here is the vocabulary for that and I've got some key questions if you want to pause the screen to tell your adult your answer then you can do that so, first of all, what is a number bond or a number pair? Sometimes we call them a number pair, but we're going to be calling them number bonds today. So, what is a number bond? If I wanted to find two numbers that had a bond to 20, what would I do? How could I work out a number bond to 20? And if I know that my number bond to 10 is 4 add 6, what else do I know? Okay, so that's what we're going to be looking at today. We're going to be looking at recalling our number bonds and recapping them to 10, 20 and 100. And we're going to be using our addition skills and there may be some subtraction in to help us when we find our bonds. So what I would like you to do is I'd like you to pause this video and go on to the PDF or the files that you've been given and watch this video, which is your number bonds to 10 and watch this one, which is your number bonds to 20 and just practice them going over so you can see the patterns. And when you've done that, I want you to come back to the video where I will go through the next things. OK, hopefully what you've just done is you've just practiced your number bond songs to 10 and to 20 and can now tell your adult those number bonds. So what we're going to do today is we're going to look at our number bonds, whether they're to 10, 20 or to 100. And we're going to see what do we know and what else can we find? So if you look on the screen, I have a number bond to 10. I have three add seven equals 10 or sometimes when we are doing number bonds we say 3 and 7 make 10. By looking at this I can work out what the number bond to 20 could be by looking at my numbers 3 and my number 7. 10 has one 10 in, 20 has two 10s in so I need to make sure that I have an extra 10. So my number bond would be 13 add 7 equals 20 or makes 20. OK, can you see what I've done there? Because I'm adding an extra 10 on, I need to make sure I've put a 10 into it. But I'm still using a number bond. I've got 3 add 7, but now I've got 13 add 7 to make 20. And I can use these numbers again to help me recognise that number bond to 100. Because remember, 100 has 10 tens in it. So I need to think of a number where 3 and 7 could have 10 tens. And if you look there, you can see that I have 30 tens, 70 tens which make an equal 100. So straight away, by looking at my 3 add 7 number bond, I can work out the number bond to 20, and I can work out the number bond to 100. OK, hopefully this is jigging your memory back to when we started at the start of the unit when we looked at our number bonds, because I know lots of my children in 2RS got this really, really well. So. Let's see what else we can find. I have my number bond to 20 here. I have 16 add 4 equals 20. So I need to find my number bond to 10 and my number bond to 100 from looking at this. What I can do straight away is I can get rid of one of the 10s. So I'll get rid of my 10 where I have 6 add 4 and that is my number bond to 10 because 20 has two 10s in it so I know already if I take a 10 away I will have a 10 left right now I've got to use these numbers 
to get a number bond to 100. Now, like I said, 100 is 10 tens. So I need to make sure that whatever I do, whatever numbers I put, it makes 10 tens. Well, I know that six add four, they are ones and they make a 10. If I did 60 and have six tens, and then I added four tens, which is 40, I would have 100. Okay. Can you see how I have used these numbers here? So my number bond to 20 to find my number bond to 10. And then from that, I've been able to find my number bond to 100. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm now going to use what my number bond to 100. So 10 add 90 equals 100 to find a number bond to 20 and a number bond to 10. Okay. So straight away, I'm going to do my number bond to 10. I can see it there. All I have to do is get rid of those tens. So instead of using a 10, I'm going to use a one. Instead of using 90, I'm going to use nine. Okay, so all I've done is I've got rid of my tens and I've just put them as ones. So that means I've got ones now. One add nine is a number bond to 10. Okay. Now what I've got to do is I've got to find my number bond to 20. When I'm doing my number bond to 20, I've got to remember that one of these numbers here needs to make sure it has a 10 in. So I am going to do this. I'm going to add a 10 on and I've still got my one using my nine because I'm not adding another 10 on because I only need two 10s. And remember, if I had if I add my nine to my eleven, it makes two tens, and I've got twenty. So what I've done is I've used this number bond to a one hundred to work out my number bond to ten, and then my number bond to twenty. And that is what I would like you to do today. So your task today, you have got eight sums here. You've got eight number bonds. Some of them are number bonds to 10, some are number bonds to 20, and some are number bonds to 100. I need you to find the remaining number bonds. So let's just have a look at number one. Number one, we've got a number bond to 10. Well, I need you to find me the number bond to 20 and the number bond to 100 by using these. This one is to 20, so you need to find the number bond to 10 and then the number bond to 100. If it's a 100 number bond that you've been given, I want you to find me the number bond that fits to 10 and then the number bond that fits to 20. OK, so you've got eight to do. So what else do we know? So using these, find the other number bonds. And then after that, you've got a challenge. You've got a probing question challenge. You've got two. What's the same? and what's different. So on each question, you've been given some sums. I need you to work out what's the same and what's different. So add them up, what's the same, what's different for both of them. And when you've done that, please make sure you are logging on to Class Dojo and sending them either on your portfolio or by messenger. And if there's anything that you're not sure on, just let me and Mrs. Meehan know and we can help you.